What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Have you ever known me to show rancor? After looking at the dictionary, what is it? Vehement ill will, intense malignity. Ah, no. I wish I could air strangle stupid people like Darth Vader. You know, somebody says something totally opposite of what the scientific consensus is and just like automatically my hand would like you know wave in the air and like like air magic seize the stupid person's throat and just kind of you know like maybe slowly pinch off the esophagus and I don't know, maybe like air shake my hand and the guy who's, you know, the idiot is like, Ugh. but that would be wrong. Take this genius, for example. Happy. So the vaccination situation that people really have to look at is the MMR vaccine, measles, mumps, rubella, which is known as a trivalent, multivalent, or three viruses in one needle, is the exact vaccine or vaccination that Dr. William Thompson, who was the senior lead scientist over the Center for Disease, Disease Control's vaccine division, has stated himself, quote, Please note that this person said the word, quote. He is quoting Dr. Thompson now. Quote. This vaccine gives black boys autism at the rate of 236% more than Caucasian boys. Mm -hmm. No, he did not say that. He did not say anything like that. He did not say that vaccines give anybody autism, let alone black boys, let alone over 200% more than white boys. He did not say anything even remotely like that. I even read the paper that was later retracted, and then I did a Google search for those phrases. I'll show you the results. I did a Google quote search, that is, two phrases inside quotes, because the original video maker said the word quote before he made the false statement attributed to Dr. Thompson. We find Google has no knowledge of that quote. Therefore, I did another Google quote search with just the phrase, this vaccine gives black boys, also returns negative content. Nowhere out there can I find anybody who had said such a thing, let alone Dr. Thompson. Now, this is not something that came from Brother Reason. It's not something that just I made up. This came from this scientist in the CDC. Um, yeah, it does look like this clown made up that quote because number one, Dr. Thompson didn't say it. Number two, there is no evidence that Dr. Thomas Thomason said that. Thompson. Number three, if he didn't manufacture that quote, why did the video producer go out of his way to say he didn't? Who currently still works there. He also stated that if we would have revealed this information at least 10 years earlier, we could have prevented at least 100,000 black boys from having autism. Uh, no, he didn't say that either. He did not say anything like that. Ah! There was a paper that has since been retracted that was methodologically bizarrely done by someone who had uh, conflicts of interest, and there was multiple reasons why that paper was retracted. Uh, you can look down in this video's description for two excellent links on the subject of why that paper said what it did, why Dr. Thompson, Thompson said what he said, etc., etc., etc. If MMR vaccines gave black people autism, which is just idiotic, how, how could that even be possible? Human genomes is hyper homogenous. There's no genetic difference between black people and everybody else. It is fundamentally impossible for any vaccine to single out black people and make them autistic more than everybody else. Not fundamentally impossible. 
cannot be done. It doesn't even make the MMR vaccine doesn't even make non-black people autistic. Genetics does, and epigenetics does. What makes me infuriated about this clown and his lies about what Dr. Thompson said is that there is evidence that black people in the United States have a slightly higher incident rate of autism diagnoses compared to everybody else. The very probable reason and what makes me really infuriated is that air pollution and poor maternal health during pregnancy is very likely the cause. When some asshole out there comes along and says, oh, well, we have a doctor who says it's the MMR vaccine doing that. What the fuck are we supposed to do about the real causes? Are we just supposed to ignore the more frequent air pollution and water pollution and poor health of black people and their communities and their environments? If we wanted to just ignore the problem and let air pollution and the lack of prenatal and postnatal health care for black women and black girls just ignore all that and focus on the MMR vaccine, which does not cause autism. Why would anybody advocate that instead of reality? Why would a black person do that? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.